everyone. It's wonderful to welcome you back to my living room here at the beginning of the month of August because by the end of the month of August, many of you will be returning to school and some of you will be coming to school for the first time. That's really exciting. And I'm sure over the next couple of weeks, you and your moms and dads are going to be getting all sorts of things ready for school. You're going to be getting clothes ready for school and you'll be getting pencils and notebooks ready for school and perhaps crayons and things like that that you need if you're younger in school. All sorts of supplies. But I wanted to talk to you about some very important things to have ready for school. Now, here is Father Jim's backpack that he carries with him when he does his job. And I put in my backpack the things I need to do my job, the things that will help me. <clears throat> I think some of you carry backpacks when you come to school. At least I see them on your back when you come to school in the morning. Well, in, I'm going to talk about things that need to be in your backpack to get you ready for school, but they're very special things. Now, in my backpack is something I always have here, and oh my, here it is, and look at this. It is the Holy Bible, the Word of God, and I always keep that in my backpack always keep that in my backpack. There's always good advice in the Word of God. And to talk about the first thing I'm hoping you'll put in your backpack to get ready for school comes from the words of Jesus. Jesus was talking to his apostles and disciples. He said to them, who is that, here's a big word, prudent servant. Who is that prudent servant who is able to go to her storeroom or his storeroom and bring out the good, the good from their storeroom? Well, Jesus is talking about this storeroom in your heart. And he's talking about who is that boy or girl that is able to bring out from their heart and their mind the good, the good that needs to be done. And he calls that person who is able to do that, he calls them prudent, prudent. Well, what does that boy or girl have that's called prudence? What do they have that's called prudence that lets them bring out the useful, the good, the helpful from their mind and heart for others and to do their work. Well, let's take a look at what prudence means. What prudence means. Prudence is spelt like this. There it is. And what it means is this. Three things. The first thing is, you have a body that can move any direction in any time, but prudence is, look before you move. Don't move without looking first. Don't move without looking first. I know a boy whose mom asked him to come into the kitchen. She said, she said to him, Bobby, would you come here? And Bobby was playing with something, and he was a good boy, so he got up right away, and he turned, and he started to run into the kitchen, and he knocked down his little sister. He knocked her right down on the floor. He didn't mean to. He wasn't being mean at all. He was trying to do something good, but he wasn't prudent. When his mother called and said, Bobby, come here, he should have stopped what he was doing, just what he did, but when he turned, he should have 
looked carefully. Oh, there's my little sister. And he would have walked around his little sister and gone, catch her. Prudence is looking, looking before we move. Ready for the second thing? Prudence is, see, isn't this fun? It has to do with your eyes, right? Look before you move. The second thing is, has to do with the ears. Listen before you speak. Listen before you speak. Sometime your teacher will say to you, can somebody, can somebody tell me can somebody tell me how many suns the earth has? And someone will raise their hand, and the teacher will call them, and they'll raise their hand because they're very excited, but they didn't listen before they speak. And they will say, I have a new puppy at home. Oh, my. Oh, my. They were excited they had a new puppy at home, but they didn't listen before they spoke. They didn't listen to the teacher's question, to the teacher's question. And when the teacher asks a question, you have to pause and listen. What did she say? Oh, and then raise your hand and say, the earth has one sun, but some planets have two suns. And you'll learn all about that in science. But the point is, is that you have to have in your backpack prudence eyes that will look before you move. You have to have ears that will listen before you speak. <clears throat> oh, and the last piece for prudence is the brain in here, where you think, where you think. And prudence is think before you act. Think before you act. Think before you act. Think very carefully. I'm going to go to my friend Johnny's house and I'm going to play with them. That means you're ready to go. And you head out and go and you come to the curb and you stop. And you think, is it safe for me to cross the street? And then you look and listen. And when it's safe, you cross the street. Or one of your friends says, let's pick these strawberries and throw them at that little girl. And you stop and you think, wait a minute. Is this a good thing to do? Is this a good thing to do? And you say, no, strawberries are to eat and it's unkind to throw things at people. And I won't do that. And I won't do that. But those are things you have to practice. And I'm hoping this week you will practice prudence. And I'm hoping that mom and dad will ask you maybe once a day, maybe at supper time, maybe before bedtime, will say, did anyone practice prudence today? Can anyone remember when they looked before they moved? Can anyone remember today when they listened before they spoke? Or can anyone remember when they thought, they thought, before they acted and did something they wanted to do? They thought about, is this good? Is this fair? Is this right? And let's do it. Let's do it. So, prudence has to be in your backpack when you get ready for school. Tucked right in there, ready to go for when you get to school. Now, always remember, if you're going to put prudence in your backpack, make sure you put Jesus in the backpack too, because he can help you do all those things. All you have to say is, Jesus, is this the right thing to do? Jesus, am I not seeing something? And he'll help you see what you need to see. Jesus, 
did I listen carefully? And he'll help you to speak because you listened very carefully. So first virtue is in your backpack now, ready for school, but you have to practice it this week. I'll have another one, another virtue for you next week. We have four of them that need to go in the backpack. And it's going to be fun to make sure they're all in there before school opens and we're ready to go. And if they're in the backpack, then when you come to school and go to chapel in the morning, everything will make more sense as we talk about all the virtues. I hope you have a wonderful and beautiful day. Will you pray with me, Jesus? I'm very excited about going to school. Thank you. Help me to make good friends. Help me to be a good friend. Help me to practice the virtue of prudence this week so I'm ready to go. And bless us and all of those who are getting ready that our school year will be safe and happy and joyful. Amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We're ready for school almost with our backpack. God bless you.